Hey, it's Oxdale Luke here, and in today's video, we are taking a look at this the Launch X41 Elite version 2 for German cars. Now, there are some things that are really, really good about this unit, a couple of things that could be improved, but it all comes in at a very reasonable price point. So, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm going to show you exactly what I think of this unit. Just being totally honest, Launch have sent this out for a review, but my opinions and feedback are my own. And the links in the description below are also affiliate links. But as always, I never let that uh, affect what I think of these units. So what do you get for your money? Well, specifically, this is based on the normal X4 V1, which actually supports many, many manufacturers. But this specific version is preloaded with software for just one manufacturer. And you get to choose which one you want. Do you want BMW, Mercedes or Volkswagen Group? choice is yours either one is all the same price but there is a version that i think is like 220 230 pounds that actually includes all three of them now the price of this particular unit is 170 pounds but there is a 20 pound off voucher as well on amazon at the moment if you use the affiliate link in the description below now 150 pounds i'm hearing you probably think at least some of you that hang on this cheaper competitors out there like what about the likes of Carly and OBD11 because they are cheaper than this the R and Tiati factor in one thing this has lifetime updates there's no subscription model you buy it once you own it the hardware is yours the updates are all yours like you can use this for years in the future so that's what's like really really nice about this if you also factor in the cost so something like Carly to buy I think something like 75 pounds they essentially give you the adapter free but then the next year you're going to, have to pay £75 again for the most basic subscription. I think the more expensive ones go up to like £125 or £150 a year. So suddenly, very quickly, you've actually exceeded the cost of what this uh, costs. And you also get the hardware on this as well. And the hardware is really nice. It's built well. It's tough. It's got this kind of like tough case on the outside. It feels like it can take a drop. Uh, buttons nice and big for the power, you've got the OBD connection, um, the serial port that so goes to the OBD, uh, just goes into there. And then also USB Type-C to charge it, so really good. 4 inch screen, and it's nice and recessed, so if you drop a face down, probably should be okay. Now, the thing about this um, that I do really like is that it does have a lot of functionality on it. It's um, being able to do, of course, diagnostics. That's the most basic thing, really. But because it's manufacturer specific, it's going to do those diagnostics module by module. So you're going to be able to see exactly how those fault codes are laid out. You're going to get a bit of an explanation of what those fault codes are. And also, you're going to be able to delete those fault codes as well. But you probably knew that much already. Because it's also manufacturer specific, it can go a lot further in depth. It can do stuff such as programming so if you want to do stuff like coding on Volkswagen cars you can do that to add or disable features to the car and that's really really powerful to have you can also do stuff like bi-directional tests so if you want to activate a particular component on the car it can do that as well now those tests are very useful if you're trying to diagnose faulty hardware for example you know if, if the window's not opening on a car could it be the window switch could it be the regulator well Using something like this, you can bypass the window switch, you can tell the car's computer to put the window down, and if it doesn't go down, you can kind of think, well, the window switch is good. It must be the regulator or something else. So it allows you to do a lot of fault finding, and it's going to do that specifically on German cars on this one. So that, that's really, really nice to have. The other thing is, is extensive live data. My God, I plugged this into my friend's Audi A3, which I used for some of the tests, and the amount of stuff that this could read in terms of data points was just phenomenal. So, for again, for fault finding, because not all the faults show up on a fault code. You know, sometimes you need to actually do that in-depth analysis. That's going to be able to allow you to do this. So, really hope you get an idea now of what this can do and who this is for. And the person this is for, it's not for garage. Because if you're a garage, you're probably going to have some very professional level diagnostics to cover many many manufacturers not just german stuff but also stuff like italian stuff or french stuff or whatever now what this is for really where it's very useful is for the enthusiast owner people who have are into that particular car they've just bought the car they may be thinking of keeping it for three years and they want some professional level access to their car that's what that's going to do for a very very good price keep a car for three years it's 50 pound a year Hell, you can still sell the hardware when you're finished because it's like a lifetime update. It's, it's still valid for the next owner. So you can very quickly get your money back with this and it's very quickly going to pay for itself if you're 
if you're just doing any type of diagnostics, any type of maintenance on the car for yourself. So that's, that's really, really nice to have. Uh, but you do get a lot of functionality. Now, I did say earlier that there's a couple of things that weren't so good about it. And the first one is, is that it does feel a little bit older than some of the stuff like, for example, like Carly. Doesn't mean it's less capable, it's just the interface doesn't feel quite as slick. And one of the things I found was when I was coding the module here, the instrument cluster on my friend's A3, I accidentally deleted all the programming on there and had to work out the, the, <laughs> the codes to put back in. Now, the thing is, is some of its competitors, like Carly, will do backups and also help you out with the coding a bit more. This one's a bit more old-fashioned. It's like getting the old VCDS software on your laptop. Uh, and from that, you have to take note of the, of the uh, coding numbers you stick down because there's no backup made on them. On some of the competitors, it'll just make a backup and you can slide that right back in there if you make a mistake and you're back to like square one again and that's absolutely fine. Not with this, so be careful of that. Now this is something that could be implement implemented with a software update. This is just running Android behind it, so it'd be possible. And if launch, if you're watching this, please add some backups to this. That would be amazing to do that. But apart from that, as long as you know what you're doing, it's good. You've got lots of functionality, lots and lots of things you can do. So I actually found this to be really useful. I think it's a great tool, specifically at a great price as well. So yeah, overall, I think this is now taking the lead for my favorite, um, favorite kind of like pro level, but consumer orientated diagnostics for German cars. I've tried OBD11, I tried Carly, I tried this, and this is the one I would buy out of three. Um, especially as well, because it doesn't let you load of updates all the time, you know, like, uh, Carly and that's always saying, hey, try this feature out and try that feature out. And like, um, no, I just want to go in and do diagnostics. This just leaves you to it. Now, I will show you a couple of things on the front of this. So how it works. Settings, for example, just gives you an overview of, for example, display, Wi-Fi, sounds, that kind of stuff. Mall, now that's quite interesting. Now, if you click on Mall, like I said earlier, this is based on the X431, which covers many manufacturers. And that means that if you actually want to upgrade to a different manufacturer, you can, as you can see, there's loads in here. They're about $75 for most of them. But essentially, what that means is if you're moving from Volkswagen to Ford or something, you can pay for the Ford software, retain your hardware, upgrade for like $75, and still have the Volkswagen software on there. So that is super nice to have. Then, talking about the software, if we go back to our home screen and go to upgrades, that's where your free lifetime upgrades are going to come into effect. You just tick which one of these you have you know it's just going to show you what's installed you tick on it click update it's going to launch those updates and give you a nice uh, fresh set of uh, of diagnostic software on there so that that's also really cool a uh, final update you like diagnose and general generic obd2 scanning so you can still do that but if you go into diagnose that's where your, your real in-depth stuff is you've got the vin scan auto vin that's gonna um connect to the NHTSA, I think it's called Database in America. It's going to look up the VIN on there, give it and find the exact vehicle model. So you're not having to look for vehicle model by year, by engine, by body style. The, the VIN can do that. It can decode that by itself. So that's also a real nice time saver, um, as well as being able to obviously select your manufacturers on there as well. And then when you each particular module, you can then select what you want to do within that module. So if you want to do your programming, if you want to do your, you know, your coding, your live data streams, if you want to record the data streams, if you want to email them, you can see do all that stuff from within there. So that, that's really, really nice functionality to have. So yeah, if you want to pick one up, uh, like I said, it's an affiliate link, but this review was my own thoughts and feedback. It was genuine. Um, you can pick one up using the link in the description below. It would really help me out on the channel if you purchased our link. Um, so anyway, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm going to be doing one of these videos every single week, by the way, some kind of tech review on a Wednesday, so like Tech Wednesdays. Um, so if you want to see that stuff, you know what to do. Just stay around on the channel and keep an eye out, and I will do those reviews uh, coming up soon. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, see you soon, and as always, guys, take care.